Dear students, in this session we will discuss the investment component of aggregate demand. As we have discussed earlier, aggregate demand consists of the desired consumption expenditure and also the desired investment expenditure. So, changes in the desired investment is a major factor responsible for change in income. Keynes believed that consumption is a stable function of income. It does not mean that consumption will not vary over time. It only means that consumption is induced expenditure and that it depends directly on income. Consumption component is 70 to 80 percent of aggregate supply or GNP, but consumption is a function of income, it is a stable function of income. As long as income is a constant, consumption will remain constant. And we do not expect wide swings in consumption expenditure from period after period. So, even though it is a major component of aggregate supply, it will not vary considerably from one time period to another time period. That does not mean that consumption will not change. Consumption will change if and only if income changes. So, to explain the causes of movements in aggregate demand and hence aggregate supply and income, Keynes looked on to the autonomous component of aggregate demand. And autonomous components of aggregate demands are components independent of the level of income. Autonomous components are components of aggregate demand independent of the level of income. In a two-sector economy, investment expenditure is the autonomous component. In a two-sector economy, investment component is the autonomous component of aggregate demand. According to Keynes, investment is the most volatile component of aggregate demand. So, variability in investment expenditure is responsible for variability in income. Variability in investment expenditure is responsible for variability in income. Remember this, in the Keynesian model, aggregate supply depends on aggregate demand, aggregate demand depends on consumption and investment. Consumption is a stable component of income. As long as income is a constant, consumption will also remain constant. Consumption will change if and only if income changes. So what causes change in income is change in investment. And this investment expenditure, desired investment expenditure is determined by two factors. One is the interest rate R. The other one is business expectations. Investment is determined by the rate of interest and business expectations. As we will see later, investment is inversely related to interest rates. It means that at a higher interest rates, only a few investment projects will be profitable. So investment will be low. But as uh, interest rate decreases, more investment projects become profitable so that investment will increase. But we have not uh, explained how interest rate is determined in the Keynesian model. 
that is a topic which we will discuss later so we will not explain this part now the second one is expectations of business entrepreneurs or expected yield on investment projects the managers while deciding to undertake a new project will always consider the future profitability of such investment projects investment will be undertaken if and only if it is profitable and according to keynes expectations of the managers entrepreneurs about the profitability of an investment project is a major component of instability or in the keynes in the simple keynesian models of income determination business cycles economic fluctuations are caused by volatility of business expectations this is because business expectations about future profitability is based on precarious base of knowledge scanty knowledge so expectations shift frequently and at the times drastically making making investments highly volatile expectations are based on very little knowledge about future and these expectations will shift frequently and at a times it will shift drastically making investments the most volatile component of component of aggregate demand so investment expenditure which is the autonomous component in the simple keynesian model of income determination is the cause of instability so and the investment depends on rate of interest and expectations these are things which we will explain in detail so in the simple model of income determination investment expenditure the component of aggregate demand which make which make what is known as instability of income employment and output and in the single simple keynesian model we assume that investment is exogenous we treat it as exogenous i is taken as i bar that is entrepreneurs will make a certain amount of investment regardless of the level of economic activity at a later time we will make investment endogenous in the islm model for the time being we assume that investment is autonomous entrepreneurs will make a certain amount of investment regardless of economic conditions so we simply treat i as equal to i bar i as equal to i bar so we have a condition for equilibrium y is equal to c plus i c is conserved component i is the investment component c is endogenous i is exogenous and in the next session we will consider a numerical example explaining various terms associated with the consumption component